Welcome to Midwits Made Simple. In this video, we are going to see about a bone tumor known as osteochondroma, which is also called as exostosis. Before moving on, if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so that you won't miss out any of my upcoming videos. Osteochondroma is also called as exostosis. It is a benign tumor of the bone. It is seen as an outgrowth occurring from the bone. The usual types are solitary and multiple types. In solitary type is the most common type in which only one exostosis is seen in the body. Whereas if there are multiple exostosis seen in the body, it is known as multiple hereditary exostosis. Osteochondromas are more commonly seen in men than women. It is commonly found in the metaphysis of the long bones and near the especially near the growth plate and it is suggested that it arises from the growth plate of the bone. The other way to classify osteochondromas are sessile and pedunculated varieties. Sessile is the type in which there is no stalk. The osteochondroma directly is attached to the bone and it is a flat type and pedunculated type is the one where there is a stalk which as shown in this picture. The osteochondroma is arising from the bone and it is connected through a stalk. Sessile type is more commonly associated with malignant transformation than pedunculated type. Most common site of osteochondroma is around the knee, that is distal femur and proximal tibia. Other common sites are proximal femur and proximal humerus. And the less common sites involved are pelvis, scapula, ribs and spine. The thing about these sites are, if osteochondromas are present in these sites, the risk of malignant transformation is more as compared to if they are present in the long bones. Clinical features are pain at the site of the tumor, swelling which is slow growing mass and it can undergo fracture if there is a trauma and it can cause severe pain and can compress nearby nerves causing neuro deficit or pain due to the compression of the nerves. Development, it is suggested that it arises from the growth plate and the thing about osteochondroma is that it grows away from the direction of physis. It is covered by a cartilaginous cap. The thing about cartilaginous cap is that it cannot be seen on x-rays. So clinically the patient will be having a bigger swelling or on x-ray the swelling looks smaller. So how to identify this cartilaginous cap then? It can be seen on MRI. Cartilage specific sequences are better to identify the thickness of the cartilaginous cap. If, there is, if the cartilaginous cap thickness is more than 2 cm, it indicates that there is risk of malignant transformation in these patients. It is to be noted that the cortex of the stalk of the tumor and the host bone and the medullary cavity of the stalk of the tumor and the host bone are continuous. So it suggests that it is just an outgrowth from the bone. Now histopathologically, if you see, the cartilaginous cap is made of benign hyaline cartilage and it is covered by perichondrium. Uh, it just looks like disorganized growth plate. Coming to the genetics part, there is germline loss of function mutation in EXT1 and EXT2 gene. These two genes are to be remembered and this genetic involvement is commonly seen in the multiple hereditary exostosis type more commonly than the solitary type. The good thing about osteochondroma is that they stop growing after physis closure. So once the child attains the maximum growth and the physis is closed, usually the osteochondromas will not grow after that. If the osteochondroma is symptomatic, the treatment is excision. The good thing about osteochondroma is that it is a benign tumor. But however, there is a risk of malignant transformation in some patients. If it undergoes malignant transformation, it develops into chondrosarcoma. Well then, you made it till the end of the video. If you have any doubts or you have any suggestions for me to make in the upcoming videos, comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching this video till the end. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share this video to your friends and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you guys in my next video.